hello friends welcome to my channel civil smart today we are going to design a pad square footing this is also called a step footing you need to fill your data in these pink cells okay first we find the dimension of the footing square footing next step is second net upward pressure we need to find the net upward pressure then depth of the footing on the basis of the bending moment criteria right next is the area of the steel we will find next step one way shear check will be done and next is the punching shear check two way shear check seventh step is development of the length that is ld next is the bearing stress of the column so let's start okay column dimension this is the square column dimension so square footing is we are going to design so column dimension is 500 m by 500 m okay unfactored or working load is 600 kN so 10% of cell fate will be add up and the total working load is 660 and the ultimate load that is factored load is 1.5 times that is 900 safe bearing capability is given is 120 okay fck is m20 m20 that is ck is 20 and fy is 415 right so you can see the required area of the footing is 5.50 mm square so we are going to design a square footing so area is b cross b so b size of the footing is 2345.21 so we can choose a round of figure on higher side 2400 so provide the square footing size is 2.4 by 2.4 so we have find out the size of the footing right so net upward pressure that is pu upon ag provided ag provided is this much and pu is the ultimate load so you need to see that if you're going to find the net upward pressure by ultimate load then you, you will get the ultimate movement over there right so you need not to multiply it by the 1.5 times right so if you are going to choose ultimate load at this point only so you will get the ultimate movement ultimate shear force in every ring so depth of the footing next is the depth of the footing on the basis of the bending moment criteria so lx is b minus b by 2 you we all know that this is the critical phase for the bending moment the bending moment will be at the critical at the face of the column so lx is b minus b by 2 this hole is b this is b small b by 2 we will get lx so ultimate movement is w lx square by 2 into p right into b so this much is 169.22 is kilometer so coefficient for fe415 is 0.138 so 195 is the d required so we have to go for the higher side if we choose 250 m so we will see that increase the depth is required right so if we go for 300 mm okay safe in shear you can see this much we have already taken 0 0.28 0 0.36 this is interpolation and okay safe in shear is required so we will go we will choose 300 mm clear cover 50 mm for the footing case and if we choosing the 10 mm dia so this much is the overall depth so overall depth we have find 355 effective depth is 300 so b is 2400 so pt required is calculated by this formula 0.228 percent pt minimum is 0.12 ast required is this much if we choose 12 mm dia so 15 numbers are required for 160 mm spacing provided if we choose another dia 10 mm so 110 mm 21 numbers in both direction because this is the square footing movement will be and same at the both the direction so we are choosing 12 mm dia so one way shear check we can see that the critical section will be at a distance small d from the face of the column so this is 650 mm p minus b by 2 minus d effective depth 650 right b shear force this is the factor shear force we have already told you we have taken the ultimate load so this is factor shear force w into w1 this is w1 into b this is much as b in this area so 243 kilonewton tau b is vu by vd 0.34 so 
so tossy is 0.35 now tobi is less than tossy so okay safe in shear one way shear punching shear check is already been calculated so we only that effective deep depth we have chosen 300 mm critical parameter by this formula 3200 area within the critical parameter by this formula so ultimate punching force outside the critical parameter is 810 kN nominal punching shear stress tau v is ultimate punching force divided by v not v not is the critical parameter into d 0.83 and allowable punching shear stress is ks into tau c so value of ks is 1 for square column tau c is this formula 0.25 under root of fck this is 1.12 so tau v is less than tau c so okay safe in two way shear also for development length m20 1.2 we have to choose the 1.2 this is okay because ld formula is this much ld is 564 and available length is b minus b by 2 minus clear over 900 so available length is greater than ld so this is okay bearing stress on the column is by this formula 3.60 bearing capacity of the concrete is by this formula you can choose you can see a1 and a2 is been calculated square root a1 by a2 is 3.4 and if this is greater than 2 then take 2 so this is 18 so bearing capacity is greater than the bearing stress in column that is okay right so we have designed this step footing this is the detailing and these are the reinforcement required we have already calculated the depth of the footing by putting these values so friends if you like this video if you want this excel sheet please whatsapp me on my whatsapp number or mail me thanks for watching